<laughs> that was a long fucking time ago, huh? This is where it all started, right here. Yeah, I remember you too, Harry Brown, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's yeah, right. We pulled up in what was like a fucking like a post post rock post van. Yeah, it's like one of those where back. The... Yeah, yeah. Shit. What's going on, Mr. K? So, a few things going on here. Um, one, well, first off, how you been, man? How you been? I see you a busy man as the mayor. I've been super busy. A lot of bullshit going on. You know how it goes. Same shit, different fucking day. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll start out with the light stuff here. You have any type of poll with the judges? Uh, I mean, I have some poll, but it depends on what. These motherfuckers been dragging me along, man. I've been out on bail for 10 fucking days, begging them to assign a judge to my case. And they just ain't fucking budging. Yeah, that part I don't get. I think may, I think the shakeup with the PD made everybody like not focus on the cases they had. Yeah, because this, days this case, uh, well, since I've been on bail, it's been 10 days. But the case has been up. Uh, let me see real quick. The case has been up since the 10th, so uh, 12 Jesus. Days. I mean, I could talk to Crane, see if we can uh, get the guests to get this shit off the docket or, or see if we can get some moving on it. Cause I, I think it's bullshit that uh, these court cases, uh, just nobody's doing them right now. It makes no sense. Yeah, people are getting fucked over, man. Getting fucked over. The, you know how it goes. The legal system in this city has never helped anybody ever. Mm, never. Now, on to the heavier shit. Um, my information may or may not be correct here, but I've heard through the grapevine that you are not a fan of a certain man named Michael Simone. Oh, I'd love to kill a man and his brother. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. Yeah, those guys are fucking pricks. For the past 24 hours, I've been tracking these two scoundrels. You see, they they put one of my friends on the ICO, Miguel Almeria. You were of him, right? Yeah, I heard about the situation as well. Miguel exposed him as being alive again because some shit between them happened. And next thing you know, he got shot with a fucking sniper rifle. Yeah, I heard about that as well. Oh, I've been going around gathering all my resources and stuff around the city to try to find everything out I can about these two as. Everyone I talk to seems to be pretty certain they're impossible to find. Michael, in specific. I mean, something they're impossible to find is a lot of people uh, help keep them hidden. You know what I mean? I'd imagine Seaside and HOA. Oh, so you already have all the information, huh? Yeah, I've been to some of their residences, and I know that they're pretty close with someone named Jazz Rider. Um... A lot of people from HOA, a lot of people from Seaside. Yeah, they're, 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 they're keeping them hidden. Uh, more so Michael than Nick. Nick, you can find him at the hospital every now and again. Yeah, but, but Michael, know, I, I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm looking for Michael in specific, but uh, yeah, I think Nick would be pretty easy to grab. But I know if I grab Nick, there's no way he's going to give me any type of information on Michael. So I just yeah, think he would blow he, my cover. He, yeah, he would die with that, yeah. I mean, listen, if you if you got cover, I don't know what your what your relationship was with the HOA, but uh, you know, they can definitely set you up with Michael. I mean, even approach it a approach it from an angle angle where you hear that Lang is trying to you know fuck the Simones over, and you want to help Michael out or some shit. He would a hundred percent take a meeting with you. I need some type of information that they could bite on, to where if they if I say it to them, they're like, oh well. There's no fucking way. This is this is crazy information here. Hmm. I would have to right think now, I think they'll be very enough. sketched out since of what just happened to Miguel. Oh, right, because they did shoot Miguel and they know you're close with him. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I was thinking I get Jazz Rider. Jazz Rider seems to be connected to all of Simone's businesses at the highest level. She's pretty much his right-hand woman, it seems like to me. 
I've been in her really? properties as well, and she had a case that was opened up, and it looked like there was a fucking dismantled sniper rifle in it. Interesting. I did not fucking know that. So I'm trying to locate her. Sheesh. Maybe squeeze some info out of her in order to maybe get a better idea of how Michael Simone moves around. Where would you find her? Is she part of like a club, part of a gang? She she works at a company. You get her little information sheet up here. You know, I, I do detective stuff on the side and all that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, Jazz Ryder. She works at Los Santos Billboards as a COO, which is owned by, of course, Michael Simone. Uh huh. She also works at the factory. Uh. Rook Financials. I don't think that's any connection to Michael. Air X, Master of Coin, and Hades. Really? That's very fucking interesting. Holy shit. Which a lot of those are connected to. You know who? Yeah. And she has a very high standing in all of those businesses that are related to him. She's also super clean. Wow. Uh, clean only as a, a whistle. Yep. Yeah. No MBW photo. Same charges as Simone. I wonder if they were caught in the same exact thing. Sheesh. Yeah, what no picture, no nothing. Fuck. But it seems based off her employment, she's out there. Um, I was thinking about maybe getting someone to apply for a billboard and somehow get her there and bada bing bada boom. That's not a fucking bad idea. Maybe we can work together on this, you know? The two greatest pals of the city come together to bring down one big fucking scumbag. I mean, Mr. K, you know I'm down. Okay. Uh, any, anything else you might know that uh, could help me lead me in this direction? Who he hangs with, where he hangs? Well, I mean, I know last, last apparently uh, that I heard is his, he's been hiding with the HOA. Uh, Michael specifically. Um, obviously, I mean, you pretty much know everything I know. Uh, the Miguel situation. Obviously, that was Michael. The cops almost caught him yesterday, but it wasn't him or some shit. Um, I was well, told he has an upside down cross on his forehead. Yes, but he, he also has it? people that look like him intentionally. So you can miss yeah. and, you know, think that he's Michael, but he's actually not Michael. Hmm. This dirty fucking bastard. And yeah, I think that's pretty much that's pretty much all I have, I think. Sorry, it's just a lot of info I gotta cycle through my head. Oh wait, he's also trying to turn himself in, apparently, for a plea deal. Really? Getting desperate, or he's just trying to buy some time maybe. He's getting desperate or he's trying to think outside the box. See how people react to that information. Well, if he's in talks with them and negotiating to turn himself in, maybe they'll let up for a bit. You know what I mean? Buy him some time. Could be that too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I know Jeffrey uh, Bundy and Jenny Hall uh, pretty much cover for the guy. Really? Yeah. Huh. There are big reasons why uh, he and his brother have been uh, just never caught for so long. You said Bundy and Jenny Hall? Yeah, Jeffrey Bundy and Jenny Hall. What, what departments are they in? Uh, nowadays, I have no fucking idea. Before, uh, Jeffrey was in Vinewood PD and Jenny was in uh, PBSO. I imagine they're probably going to uh, BCSO or whatever the fuck it's called or LSPD. Yeah. Shit. That's pretty much all I got. All right, I'll try to find some info. There's got to be a reason why they're fucking protecting them. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you can find out that reason, you are the best detective in this fucking city. Because I've been trying to figure that out for weeks now. Jenny Hall and Bundy. Huh. Yeah. I mean, listen, I can give you a contact that can give you some information. I don't know how deep you want to go, but she's kind of fucking crazy. Uh, Cleo oh, I Shaw. love crazy. Cleo Shaw? Yeah. She's uh she's been tormented by the Simones from the beginning. Do not let her know that I sent you though. Just say you heard that on the streets. Of course, of course. Yeah. I thought uh, I thought Bundy was helping out the Simones because his wife wife was like deep in at the hospital. 
I swear. Yeah, so have you heard about the hospital shit? No, what happened at the hospital? I know that uh, Nick likes to hang out at the hospital. So when Michael Simone faked his death, it was confirmed by Jeffrey Bundy and Jenny Hall. But apparently, like, a doctor confirms it. And Jeffrey Bundy's wife is a doctor. She was probably the one that confirmed it. Yeah. Yeah. You know who the wife is? Lennon, Lennon Bundy. Lennon Bundy. Yeah. Now, listen, back to the Cleo thing. Do not let her know I sent you. She is an agent of chaos, Mr. K. Oh, she will fucking wrap around you like a fucking spider and not let go and slowly suck the life out of you. Be you think it's best if she doesn't even know it's me? Uh, yes, but you'd have to convince her you're on her side. She's very paranoid. I mean, these guys have made her life a living hell. All right, I'll look into that. I'm going to look into Bundy's wife as well. Yeah, I'll look into the hospital as well and uh, try to figure out uh, another thing is I never understood how the Simones built the hospital. If you could figure that part out, that also would be insane. They also own a fucking private island. Yeah, actually, I'll give you another one, too. There's a project uh, happening at City Hall. Uh, I'm not really sure what the project is. But I think it's uh, being led by HOA on behalf of the Simone. Is that that tunnel at the fucking courthouse? Yeah. Jesus Christ. You know, I got a feeling it's going to be some nuclear shit. HOA, uh, and the Russians around, they had their whole lake filled with some uranium bullshit, and the Russians were farming it. They were over there sucking it up and harvesting it. Yeah, I mean, some weird shit's going on there. Not really too sure what, but hey, if you can find that out, that's another big... Question mark I couldn't figure out. I will do. Keep keep an eye on that jazz writer. J A Z Z R. I'm a hundred percent gonna look into that. Uh when Vinny's around tomorrow, uh Mr. K I got an opportunity I want to bring onto your table. But all I ask is that this stays between me, you, Mr. K, and now Harry since he's here. Oh, short thing. Yeah, because I think it's an opportunity you guys might be interested in. Uh, I think it'll be it's good money, but the, I just can't have other people uh, really knowing about it that talk a lot. Oh, so I mean, you could just say the name. I know what you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah, Eugene. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Eugene's a good one too. A good one too. Yeah, <laughs> and, I mean, and Rami. Yeah. yeah, Rami and Eugene. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's what I said. They talk a lot. Yeah. Okay. I, I think you'd uh, I think you'd be interested in the opportunity. All right, I'll be there tomorrow. All right, I'll give you a call probably earlier in the morning. All right, I appreciate the time. Well, I'm I sure we'll be in touch. Okay, you have a good day. Take care.